Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croiso y salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chashta niakshi mash. So today we have got to pick a new project to do, but first of all, I've got a couple of items here that I've had that I just want to go through with you guys and take a look, some new stuff that's arrived, especially what's inside here as well, because I can't wait to open it. It's been too long and it's time to open this up, so let me get you guys a little bit closer and let's see what we got. So first of all, on the treat menu, I recently got one of these brushes. It's a drill brush. Um, it's made of th thick kind of um, plastic bristles that I can use for spinning stuff. So it's good for upholstery. It's good for anything, well, basically anything that you need a rotating brush for. So I've got one of these, that's that. Second thing I have here came today from my friend Dave. Hello Dave, thank you so much for my little lockdown gift. We have got some H60 Pure Epa, Pure Epa microfiber bags. These are original, and these will are uh, H60 ones. Um, and these are for Telios Plus Sensory, Free Motion, Pure Power, and the Silent Energy. So I will be using these on the Free Motion when I do a video of that coming up very soon. That's them. <coughs> Next thing we got here are two new big bottles of the 40 volume 12%. This is the cream peroxide. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got two one liter bottles of these. I think it's one liter. Yes, it is, thousand milliliter. Two liter of that for retro brighting. Next thing we got here is this heat tool that I bought. This is for using the heat shrink. I haven't opened up the packet yet. So these are for using the heat shrink uh, wrappers that I do on uh, some of the electricals. I find the soldering gun, soldering, yeah, soldering gun is just way too hot. And if I use a flame or a little flame torch thing I got, again, it's too hot. So this is a little bit softer to use so that I can heat shrink, especially the ones with the solder and the flux already inside them. And it is simply just an on and off. There is no other thing, and the nozzle may be hot, so let's plug it in. Let me get my little extension lead. Okay, I've got my little extension lead here. Let's plug it in and let's switch it on. So that's basically it. It's like, like a mini hairdryer, but strong enough to do the job that I needed to do for the soldering. So that's that little tool. Now the final thing I have is nothing to do with um, vacuums. My friend on um, Instagram by the name of Ian always puts up these little things. He's a creative craft guy and he always puts up these little things that he makes and I thought that would be really good. I said, I thought, I know who'd like one of them. My mum. So I bought this for my mum. Now I could have had it sent to directly to her, but I had it sent to me so I could open it for you guys. Check in the video description, the link to Ian's Instagram is on there. If you go on there, you'll see these that he makes and he can make them custom. Size, color, everything, fantastic. Now, let's take my little, I haven't opened this up. So it's wrapped up very well. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These are really cute, really creative. 
Now, my mum loves wild lilac. So I gave him... Oh, wow. So I gave him the kind of colours that I wanted it to be done. And unfortunately, uh, something happened and Ian was delayed in sending it. And I was like, look, it doesn't matter. I'm in no rush whatsoever. I just had a sneak peek. So first of all, he has made one for me, which is this. Oh my God, that is so cool. That is a pom-pom wreath with all the different colors on it. That's beautiful. That's really nice. This one is for my mother and it's uh, to remind of wild lilacs. So let's take it out. Oh wow, there's a note inside as well. Thank you, 15% off next order at Maranta Makes. So there we go, that is his at Maranta.makes. If you go on Instagram and have a look for him. Um, so I got 15% off my next order, excellent. And this one is for my mum, and this one is the um, kind of, um, because she likes wild lilacs, so we've got the purple of the wild lilacs, and then the little bits of green then, which are like the leaves for it, and there are some feathers on the inside, some lovely lilac feathers. And there we go, and then she can hang this up on her wall, and she can have that on there, and it reminds her of wild lilacs. So that that's beautiful. All these little pom-poms, all made by hand, all stuck on by hand, onto a wreath on the back. Look, it's all beautifully crafted. And there's a little hook there, so you can have it hook on the wall. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang it up. So this one is gonna go back into here because this is gonna go back to my, to my mum. I'm gonna send it to, on to her. I'll pop it there. And then this little one is one for me. So this is gonna go on the wall behind me. So I'm gonna, I think I've got a spare nail sticking out somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hang this up. So thank you very much for Ian for making these for me and for this, for the gift, which is gonna be on the channel. And like I said, if you go to at Marinter, M-A-R-A-N-T-E-R dot makes and um, take a look for it there, but the link will be in the video description as well. So thank you very much, Ian, for this. Really, really nice, love it. Very, very crafty, I love crafty ideas. And uh, yeah, that's beautiful. That can go with the orange to match my shirt and the back wall. So let me get cleared up and we will crack on with what we're gonna do next. So today we are going to be working on this. This is uh, the Dyson DC33. Um, I don't really know much about this. Right, Root Cyclone Technology. I can't tell. Oh, this is the Stubborn. This is the DC33 Stubborn. Extra accessories for stubborn dirt removal, root cyclone technology, telescopic reach wand, and zero extra costs. No bags or filters to buy. Mm -hmm. um, so I've had it for a while. I think it's time to clean it up and let's see what it can do. But first of all, I want to plug it in and switch it on. So let's plug it in. Switch it on. Seems to be working very well. Let's see if the clutch is working. So we have power, but we don't have a clutch that works. Let's have a look underneath. And let's see what it could be. That just fell off.
there's definitely something with this that is not right. That is the filter, the filter housing. Let's unplug it. Right, it's unplugged. So let's get you guys closer and let's have a look and see what's going on here. I really do not know much about these machines, so let's start taking tools off. Um, that's the see-through pipe. That's the little side bit. I don't know the names of these things. If I get stuck, I'm going to have to watch some videos on it. Let's take the bin off. There's a little bit of crud in there, but it's not too bad. A little bit of a polish and a cleanup that will come out good. That's the um, exit filter, which is full of carbon dust. I think I have spare parts for these. This, by the way, is the Dyson serial number BT3 UK BME 6475A. 1400 watts, DC 33, made in Malaysia. Right, okay. Let's take the hose off. Oh, that's, oh yes, because you have to put that. Do you? What? Ah, right, okay. So that's how that works. Nice and easy. Okay, so there's the wand. Take the wand off. Let's take... the tube off. So far, so good. <laughs> now... Oops. Let's take a look in here. Looks like something in the clutch is broken. Looks like broken. Looks like broken plastic in there. I don't know. So let's get this cover off. All the little wheels on it are in good condition. Just needs to clean. Here we have looks like the clutch housing on it is broken. Let me get my clutch removing tool. Well, I did have a clutch lifting tool, but I don't know where the bling and egg it's gone. So let's get the brush roll out. Right, okay. Let's get the clutch out. And let's take a look.
Ah, fell inside. Hmm. Why is that not spinning?
probably missing something really simple to get this clutch out. Oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> right, so here's the clutch. Looks like it's gotten wet. 7th of May 2007 is when this clutch was made. Let me get some little things for that and open it up. It looks, it looks wet on the inside. I've never taken one of these apart, so I don't know. It's not moving. Ah. Okay, it is moving. Let's drop some <laughs> lube into it. Feels as stiff as buggery. Although it is moving easier now. I'll tell you what I should drop in is some oil into this like little bearingy thing. I'm under the impression that this is supposed to move freely. But it feels rough as buggery. Is that some sort of cover on it? Hmm. I don't think. I have a spare clutch. The 
these are all my Dyson bits. I don't carry much Dyson spares. So no, I don't have a spare clutch. Oops. This little beauty is supposed to slip on there and spin, but this part in here is worn to buggery. That ain't gonna go anywhere. That is knackered, <coughs> knackered and stuffed. That bit's broken off. Something's been wedged in it and has broken it. Definitely. Right. Okay. That's brought it to a sudden halt. So it looks like I'm going to have to get a DC33 replacement um, clutch mechanism. Now, I do have another DC33. Actually, it's a DC-14. Um, the one other one I got is a DC-14. It's not a DC-33. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and online and have a look and see if I can get another DC-33 clutch mechanism. And I will be back with you. It's been two days. And the parts have been ordered. So I've ordered a new one of these without a broken part. I have ordered a new mechanism, a new um, clutch. Um, I've got a new pipe there and I've ordered a new gasket seal as well. And I've, this is the clutch that I've ordered new. I've cleaned out, I took off the top of the cyclone. I've cleaned all that out, washed it all out and the cover for it. I just need to put the gasket and then the gasket on and then that. I've also washed the exhaust uh, filter uh, cover, the floor head, the pipe, the tray for the brush roll, the floor head, that's all been cleaned. A little bit of the side. There's a seal and the bin. So I've cleaned the bin. So I'm going to put all these parts to one side here. Oh, and the top as well. I've cleaned all that. I've ordered a new brush roll for it as well. So that's coming. The hose. I don't even have to clean it. Look how clean that is. That is absolutely spotless. It looks brand new. So I don't need to replace any of that or the handle or anything, blah, blah, blah. The next thing I'm going to do is to polish the inside of this bin. Um, it, 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 these, these bins, they go cloudy. There's nothing you can do about it. The grit and dirt that they pick up makes them go cloudy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish it, see if I can get rid of just a little bit of the cloudiness. And I have a special tool that I bought that I haven't used yet, specifically for doing this. And it is this. This goes on the end of the drum. This is a right angle drill bit, so I can go in with the drill and clean up the parts. Because what I found it awkward was last time when I th the bin ended up flying across the room and breaking. Um, so yeah, so this should help make it a bit better for polishing. So let me get my polishing stuff out and we will crack on. So I'm going to use this larger sponge with the smaller head. 
so that if I do scuff the edges, it won't, um, you know, it won't, it'll be easier. I'm trying to explain. Okay, let's put this beast on. on tight. Oh, doesn't give me much leeway. Okay, it's going to be a bit awkward, but it's easier than what it was. So <sighs> let's make this moist. Never polish on a dry sponge. Okay. Let's give it a go. That looks so much better. Hasn't got rid of it all, but I can definitely see through it clearer. And now it's got a nice coating of protection on it. It will look really good when it's finished. Because what's the point in doing it if you're not gonna do it properly? So I could work on it a bit more and get the bin completely shiny but I am more than happy with the results of that that's good right this is basically the end of today's video part one join me in the next episode when I get all the new parts in and we start putting this bad boy back together so thank you very much for watching and on behalf of this DC 33 I will see you in part two bye y'all